after we have Patrick Trout and we have John Pertwee, who's quite a wonderful doctor in his own right. I know some, some of us watched him first. He was, I think, the first one. And John, very elegant gentleman. I love the capes he wore. Very cool. His very first companion of the female kind is Liz Shaw herself, not only a scientist, but she works at Cambridge. We are now cream of the crop scientists. This is very cool. She works, yes, she, she, he meets her through working at UNIT. She comes from Cambridge to work at UNIT. And UNIT is the military group. You may or may not have seen that, right? So she's got a military affiliation again at this period. Liz Shaw is a really great character. Now look, she's older, so she has the ability again to match him intellectually. Makes a very good pair, the two of them. Notice she's such a scientist. We gotta have the test tubes, and this is the brigadier. He works at units, so we have the military thing going on. Notice when chicks get smart, they put their hair up. <laughs> High hair means you're smart. Low hair, I don't know what that means. But you know, we get this very serious look. Now, sadly, um, this character uh, chose to leave units. She got tired of working for the military, and in real life, the actress said she got tired of being the one who just played with the test tubes, and he always saved the day. Yeah. She was a little upset that her character didn't get more empowering moments. And that's, actresses have to make that choice. Actors of color make that choice. What kind of character do I want to be seen portraying all the time, right? What am I putting out into the world? In this case, she's like, okay, I'm done being the second banana. I'm going to go do something else. She went and did a lot of theatrical work, which is good for her.